When it comes to alcohol, we have to understand that alcohol is not going to have any positive impacts or you know positive attributes towards our training performance, towards our muscle mass, towards our fat loss, or anything that's positive around our health and fitness goals. So alcohol is just really there as an option for those who want to uh, go down that path around being social. But again, we want to look to limit our alcohol, alcohol intake and be mindful of the calories that we consume from that. So for example, if I was to have a Corona, a beer, right? I wanted to just relax and have a beer. A Corona has about 140 calories, give or take, pretty close to that. What I have to do is look at that 140 calories and understand that alcohol is not a protein or carbohydrate, a fat or a fiber. So we, I can't just track my calories, sorry, I can't just track my macros on that day. I have to consider the total calories of that Corona, that beer. So 140 calories divided by four, that answer, probably about 40, 38 to 40 or something like that, um, that is grams, right, of carbohydrates tracked as alcohol. Now, I hope this makes sense. Basically, what we're doing is we're looking at the total calories of that alcoholic drink. We're going to assume that that alcohol is just carbohydrates. So we're going to divide that by four because one calorie, sorry, one gram of carbohydrates is four calories, right? So if we go total amount of calories, divide that by four, that'll convert that into grams, right? And then I can say, well, I'm going to have this beer, so I'm going to consume 40 grams less of carbohydrates today because I've accounted for the calories and I've called them carbohydrates. So I still get my protein that I need every day and I still get a good amount of healthy fats every day, but I'm okay with sacrificing some carbohydrates for some alcohol for whatever reason that might be. One thing to note with alcohol though, is that the more you consume, obviously the more intoxicated you become, and then you may start to make bad decisions in regards to like tra uh, having snacks and not tracking food accurately. And maybe you end up having a lot more drinks um, or you end up, you know, just going out and having fast food and you kind of lose control. So one of the biggest uh, negative impacts of alcohol is actually the result of eating more and then drinking more because you are intoxicated. And that's just something to be aware of. If you do choose to have a drink here and there, maybe it's once a week, twice a week, and it's within your caloric targets and it's not causing any noticeable negative effects, it's okay. But it's important to note at the start of this video, I said alcohol has no benefits at all whatsoever towards our goals. So uh, keep that in mind and uh, maintain control if you, if you choose to consume alcohol.